Hello, I'm Vene. Today I'm going to talk about how to make a connection between web center content and web center portal or spaces. Here I'm logging into, into the enterprise manager and the application, the screen would look like this. Go to the web center, expand the portal and go to the spaces, right click web center portal, go to the setting, go to the service configuration. Okay. Here we have different services like analytics, content, description, booklet, producer, and wordless search, and so on. But in this demo, we'll only talk about content repository. So we will select content repository, click on the add button. We will get the name uh, for the connection UCM. Repository type we will select as Oracle Content Server. We can also choose Oracle Portal or File System, but File System normally we will create when we have to make a connection between our local system type. But in this demo, we only talk about Content Server, so we'll be using this. Our IDC software type should be socket. You can also use uh, SSL, web, and web, web services as well. So, uh, provide the server host name, it may be different for you. Provide server port, it should be default 4444. Uh, authentication ma method should be identity propagation. If you are uh, making some authentication to external application, use this. Otherwise, use identity propagation. Web center context suite should be CS. Provide administrator username in my case is weblogic and we will leave the other details as default click on the test and we have test connection successful that's it click on the ok button wait for some time and using this uh, i mean making the connection through enterprise manager now whenever we we'll go to the web center portal application you can see uh, on the services configuration you can see the connection between content repository so here we will have an ucm or the content server active connection select this click on the edit button make it as active and test it it's again successful click on ok here you can define the root folder and the application name as well Okay, now we will create and we are able to make a successful connection between Web Center Portal and Web Center in Content. It's quite useful. Okay. So if you go into that Web Center Portal application, you will able to see a connection between Web Center Portal. Okay. So I'm going to hit in URL. Okay, this is the, uh, I'm using Web Center Portal 11.1.1.8. I will provide some de uh, default credentials. Wait for a while. In the meantime, we will log into the application. All right. So we have a, we are logging to the web center portal home page. We will click on the administration here. Okay. Uh, now I will go to the shared asset. I mean, this is the general configuration for the portal. This is the shear reset we have. Now we have successfully created a connection between Web Center Portal and Web Center Content. So we can use using Content Presenter or Document Explorer into the uh, task row to display the content or maybe the files in the web center portal. That's all. Thank you.